there's a whole bunch of contraindications, but some of them are fever, alcoholism, cardiac disease, acute diabetic patients. It's basically not controlling their diabetes. Um, they're going to lead to like serious dehydration, altered mental, mental state. And, but this is more common in elderly patients, and they're taking like medications that are known to go into this like extreme state, and that would be like steroids or calcium channel blockers um, that lead to HHS. Um, so that our patients are probably not going to have HHS. And then the second. Uh, Hi guys, so I just finished up with my PBL session. Um, we closed the case, so basically we were explaining um, what we researched for this session. So yeah, so everybody kind of presents what they, um, the topic that they were researching, and then everybody just listens in. The facilitator asks us questions, we answer, and that is our session. Um, we don't have a new uh, part to the case this time because we closed it. Um, so we don't have a new learning need for this week. Yay. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to work on my wax up. I have to wax up number 31, which is right here. Um, so I'm waxing up number 31 to look like this. Um, so basically I'm going to use wax to fill up this little hole. Fun times. we just started setting up for um what is it incisal repair um so that i will record later on because we got to do it for homework um but yeah so that is what just happened and now i'm back i'm looking at my um little tooth model and um so basically i did my wax up most of it at least so this is the wax up that i did um but when you close it and this is when occlusion comes in um you can see that it's not fully settled in there's still a tiny amount of space that is preventing it from cl closing fully so I got to start um, shaping this a little more so that it can close fully. How am I doing on talking? You like me talking? I hope you guys like me talking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that now. And then I actually have to go to the gym after this. Um, and then come back and continue grinding. Jelly in our lips.
we can see that there is a lot of plaque in between my teeth. There is more so some on the gum line um, and then a lot in between my front two teeth. So this is a good way to check to see how your plaque accumulates over the day. And now I'm going to brush and check again and see how it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush my teeth and see how much plaque is left over. Actually, before I brush my teeth, we gotta remember to floss. So the plaque is accumulated in between my teeth. Um, so that's why it's important to floss so you can get the plaque out in, from in between your teeth. session today we had a new case um, my learning need for this weekend is gonna be on spinal cord injuries so I have to talk about treatment for spinal cord injuries and how um, spinal cord injuries affect the systemic health and all of that yes I'm in dental school anyways so um, now I set up my little learning need report um, turned in a few assignments. I went to SimLab last night. Um, I didn't record much because I was trying to get in and out real quick. So I have um, operative and aesthetic dentistry lecture at 1.30. But before that, I want to grab some flowers for my mom and my sister. Because um, I'm going back home this weekend. And I also want to grab some lunch. And then I'll be back. <laughs> to capture the dental life right now this is the dental life i don't know what that is <laughs> but this is the dental life and i have lab tonight from six to ten and i've been in class all day long hey guys i am with the future dental hygienist ani <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because we just did the... Did the <laughs> so we were abbreviating, or we were sounding out RDH and DDS. So mm -hmm. I was saying, hello, Miss Rudda. And I was saying, hello, Miss... 
If it was DMD, it'd be dum That would have been better than What does EDS stand for? Goodbye to my best friend. Hi. And I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just end my videos with. <laughs>